you are not generating the conversions you were expecting? It's because you need an extra push with an ad campaign. Nowadays, it is very difficult to stand out with SEO alone due to the great amount of competition that exists. That's why you need to know how paid advertising works. One of the best options is Google Ads, since it is not only shown in the results of the search you do directly on Google, but also has a wide display network that includes Google Finance, Gmail, Blogger, and YouTube. But there are also other spaces on websites, platforms, and apps associated with this network. On the other hand, a good ad campaign will help you reach the people most likely to be interested in your products and services, as well as exclude those who are not, and you can also reach an audience that you had not been able to reach. In addition, you will be able to obtain valuable information since you can track the people who have clicked on your ads. If you are convinced and ready to start, here I will guide you step by step to create your first ad campaign in the best way. But wait, before we start swiping our credit card, there are other points that we must touch upon so that your campaign is successful and you don't waste a single dollar invested. As always in the world of advertising, you must be clear about your goal. This will be essential to know what type of bidding is best for you to choose. Because although our ultimate goal is to get more sales, the objective of the campaign can support it in different ways, either by getting leads, increasing awareness of your brand, attracting traffic to your website, etc. This will depend on what stage you are in, awareness, consideration, conversion, or loyalty. In this video, I'm not going to expand on this topic, but if you are interested in learning more, let me know in the comments and I will gladly make another video explaining all this. Let's continue. Once you have defined your objective, you must identify your target audience. Who do you want to reach with your campaign? What is their age? Where do they live? What are their interests? By understanding your target audience, you will be able to create ads that are more relevant and effective. Choose the right keywords. These are the terms that people use to search on Google. By choosing the right keywords, you can ensure that your ads are shown to the right people at the right time. Finally, no matter how much money you put into your campaign, it will always be important to create quality and attractive ads. Your ads are the first thing users will see, so it's important that they are engaging and compelling. Make sure your ads are relevant to your target audience and include a clear call to action. Now you can get your credit card out and let's get started. If you've never created an ad before, you may not have a Google business profile. This is very easy. Plus, it allows businesses of all sizes to set up how their information appears in Google Search and Google Maps for free. Here you can post your hours of operation, your products and services, accept online orders and more. To get started, go to businessgoogle.com and click on Manage Now. The platform will guide you step by step to create your profile with simple questions such as the type of business, its category, location, etc. Once you finish creating your business profile, search in Google Ads. It will be the first link, then click on the Start Now button and it will take you to this page. As you can see here will appear all the data that will be collected from your campaigns, but as we are just starting, it is empty. On the left side, click on the Create option and choose Campaign. As I mentioned, we will start with the objective. Remember that it must be aligned with the company's objectives. The next thing will be to select a campaign type. Google started having only ads in its search engine. However, today it offers many more options, such as the display network that I mentioned before, and this has led Google Ads to be the advertising platform with more reach in the world. If you are starting out, out, it is recommended that you do it through the search option because it allows you to reach users who know what they are looking for and have a clear intention to buy. Maximum performance is a great option because it allows you to group all campaigns. Search, display, shopping from a single campaign. Display are graphical ads that appear on different websites and mobile applications. Shopping are exclusive ads for online stores of physical products. They are the ones that appear in the search engine with image, price, description, etc. Video are the ones that appear on YouTube. Discover Discovery is a combination of different types that includes video, Gmail, and the Google app on cell phones. You will be able to try them all later, but the first option is good to start with as it has very good performance. With this option, Google will ask you to select what type of conversions you want to generate. The next thing to do is to name your campaign. Now comes the most complicated part, which is to choose the bidding strategy. If your account is brand new, I recommend you to choose the clicks option since it doesn't need previous data like other options. If you want to know more about this, I leave in the description some videos that can help you to know more about bidding strategies. Generally, it is advisable to define a maximum cost per click bid limit because otherwise Google could spend too much for a single click. However, if you set a very low bid limit, your ads may not be shown. Therefore, for now, I recommend you not to choose this option, but later when you have more data and you can see how much Google spends on average per conversion. We come to the campaign settings. Here you will have to select where your ads will be shown. Although we select the search network option, here we see that it also selects display network. I recommend that you remove it and if you want to show in the display network create a separate campaign then we just leave search network and here you also have the option to include search partners these are small search engine partners in which your ads can also appear for the moment we leave it and later you can evaluate in the statistics
statistics if they are bringing you value or not. We continue down to the location section. By default, all countries are shown. If you have already established your target audience, you will know where they are and you can select the best location to show your ads. You can be very specific, either by country, city, district, etc. You can add more than one. Here you can see that there is a drop-down menu, which, when you click on it, gives you the option of presence or interest. Recommend presence because, with the interest option, your ads can appear in other locations than the ones you selected. Next is language. This has to do with the language not of the searches, but of the browser that the person is using. So, besides English, you could include another language such as Spanish. Next is audience segments. This option allows your ads to reach users not based on keywords or search types, but based on user behaviors and profiles. If you hit explore, you will find many options for behaviors or search for a specific one in the search option. On the right side, you can add those audiences. Below, select the observation option so you can get more data of your audience. We continue below the option for more settings. The first one, ad rotation. We leave the default option, since if you have several ads, Google will show the one that has the best performance. The next option, start and end dates. If you have a campaign for a specific event, such as Black Friday, you can select the specific dates. Otherwise, you can leave it unset. We continue with ad scheduling. These are the days and times in which your ads will be shown, but I do not recommend that you limit this option because you will give Google less opportunity to learn and you need to get as much information as possible to optimize your ads. Here we are going to select the searches with which we want to appear and the text that people are going to see inside our ads. We start by selecting the keywords. You must have at least one ad group, but you can have different ones. To get keyword suggestions, you can paste the URL of your web page in this option and Google will read your page and give you suggestions. However, I recommend you just to take it as suggestions and not to apply everything, but to have well segmented your audience and what you offer and make different ad groups depending on each service. If you need more help in this part, you can go to the menu, Keyword Planner. Once you have selected your keywords, on the right side, Google will give you an estimate of the impact that these keywords would have in terms of investment, cost per click volume, and ad click volume. This is an estimate. It is not 100% accurate. We continue further down and we get to the ad section. Here we enter the final URL, that is, where people will go when they click on the ad. If you do not have a website, you can use any of your social networks. However, if you want to use Google in a professional way, I recommend you to create a landing page, even if it is very simple, because this this helps you to increase the contact rate and the conversion rate. Nowadays, it is very easy and cheap to create your landing page. In addition, only with a website you can measure conversions. If you select another route than a landing page, you will not be able to obtain this data. We continue with responsive ads. This is a type of ad where we register several titles and descriptions, and Google creates a combination that generates higher performance based on the user's search. Google will recommend you some ads taking into account your keywords. Here you can see the maximum number of characters you can enter. On on the right side, you will see the previews of your ad. You can add up to 15 titles, and I recommend you to add all of them so Google has more options. In descriptions, it is the same, but with four variations. Once you have filled it, Google will tell you what is the effectiveness of the average ad. Make sure it is at least at medium level. Below, we find the resources. Here, you can add extra information that can appear in your ads. I recommend you to add the resources to have better performance. Now we are done and we have our ad ready. We give the following to define our budget. Here, it gives us a recommended budget per day. If you choose a custom budget, make sure it is not too low so that your ad will be shown. If you are still not sure about this part, don't worry, you can modify it at any time. We click next and, after making some checks, our campaign is finally ready to be published. Here it gives you some recommendations and an overview of your ad so you can verify that everything is correct. Once you are sure that the data is correct, click on publish campaign. And that's it. We have our campaign created. If during the campaign you want to make adjustments, in the menu on the left side, you go to the ad section and edit. In this same ad section, you will be able to see your data. Usually after a day or even less, here it will appear active and you will start to see clicks and impressions. Now the only thing we need to start our campaigns is the billing method. Here we configure your tax information and your business information. And finally, we add the payment method. I recommend you choose credit or debit card as it is the fastest option since you have to make an initial payment to register your payment method. That's it. You can start growing your business with Google Ads. If you need help, visit us at felixmedia.ai and schedule your free consultation. I also leave you some videos that can help you to go deeper into this topic and keep on creating your e-commerce. What else would you like to learn? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.